The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. We have come to the end of the Christmas season, and if you tack on along with it the four Sundays of Advent that's meant to prepare it for it, we've been at this for quite some time. So I was thinking, all right, boys and girls, what's the big message that you should get out of the Advent and Christmas season? If you think of it, there are so many things that we've covered. And I suppose I came up with this. The big message of the Christmas season is that God loves us. And he thinks highly of us. He loves us and thinks so much of us that he actually became one of us. This is the great thing, the great mystery we celebrate during Christmas. That though he remained God, the second person of the Trinity, the Son... While keeping his divine nature, he took upon himself a human nature, meaning that he experienced what it was to be a human being in all things except sin. So we see that play out during the Christmas season. He was conceived within the womb of a woman, like any human being. Nine months later, he was born, like any human being. He grew up. Oh, and that in itself, I could spend several hours talking about trying to figure that out. How can the God who knows everything at the same time grow in wisdom and knowledge? Because the Gospels do tell us that the Christ child, he learned, he he grew in knowledge and wisdom. How can you be the very source of wisdom? Hey, groomies. Good evening, sir. And good morning. Uh, I know, you don't want to be evening. Anyway, let's get the bulletin updated, and uh, then we can go into some games. What's up, man? He experienced what it was to be a human being in all things, including growing up, learning, and even dying. All of us die. Even Jesus died. And what begins tonight when he leaves home? should take about 10 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go for a speed run here. Baptism is the beginning of a cascade of events that will lead to Calvary, where he'll die upon the cross. we got three things to do. So if you really think of it, the bulletin schedule, what we're celebrating tonight, the baptism prayer request Lord, list, is merely a continuation of the message you have heard all through the Advent and Christmas season. Ah, but we're taking it to the nth degree, to the next degree. Because even though Jesus... The nth was like us in all things, there was one thing that we do that Jesus didn't. He never sinned. He was a perfect human being. And none of us, well, except for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the rest of us here, we're all <coughs> sinners, we're all in need of redemption, How we're all in need of God's going? grace. Just dandy. Now, yes, that's a beautiful Just thing. Just dandy. Jesus loves us and thinks so much they became one of us, but there's still that huge chasm between us and him because what separates us is sin. Well, that, the good news of today is though Jesus It's going good, no man. Sin, I got a faceting machine for free. <coughs> for free. And it's a dinosaur, and it barely works. It's all rusted together. And, really and think of it, uh, it's mounted to a bunch of rotten wood. Lord. And the motor is uh, only kind of halfway around. <laughs> but uh, 
the metal is there, yeah, and that's what's important. So I've been working on it, and I almost have it running. John it's all oiled up and free. It's not the same and I've been enjoying a little bit of something past. that uh, kind of got mixed but in with other stuff, so I'm not quite sure what it's called. Cheers, man. It's good to see you. So John, notice he is witnessing to the perfection of Jesus. He has no sin. That's why he's confused. I shouldn't be baptizing you. You should be baptizing me. And yet notice, our Lord is insistent on being baptized even though, even though he had no need of baptism. He says, let's do this for righteousness. Not his own righteousness. He was all righteousness. For our righteousness. He wanted to show, though we are sinners, though we're far from per perfect, the perfect human being still wanted to have a relationship with us. And that's the good news of the Baptist and the Lord. <clears throat> that sin is not the thing that separates us from Jesus. Far from it. Now, here's the other side, and this is our Catholic Christian perspective. There's another side to this. Not only does our Lord show, he is giving a sign, he is showing his desire to be in solidarity with us, but he's showing us how we can actually have solidarity with him, that we can be connected with him. I was asked maybe a week ago, and maybe just all the things of Christmas that kind of brought ideas to people's minds, so I was asked a question, Father, who came up with this baptism thing? Was it Jesus? Hey, how was your was trip to Chicago? Baptist? You shouldn't hit up a well, read you probably figured out by the fact that John might... Baptist was baptizing Kick it with you. Yeah. before our Lord began his public ministry. That obviously yeah, actually, John was doing it I was thinking Lord, I should do that, hit up Rita. I was wondering if there was any, any of the, the uh, Gromies day, in the area. They actually had several Cause, um, I might actually be going back there. ceremonial washings that was meant to bring about purification. And actually there's three that or four might, of these could different ceremonies in Washington that could to what John the Baptist was doing. I think for the sake of brevity tonight, I'm I was trying, trying to think of uh, how, how long it would it take to get out there. It was a typical Jewish practice on Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement, where all the sins are confessed. Out to uh, and California. Maybe a pious Jew. Man, there's that a is a long nearby. trip. Before he goes into the river, he would load his pockets full of pebbles or rocks representing his Kay. sin. Hold sin on. is the thing that loads us down, right? I'll tell you so all about Chicago. So the person would then walk into the waters. Why water? When I get this but if you look at every religion, there's something on a very updated. senior level that water represents to us. Because I actually went there twice. Um, so recently. The Jew so on Yom Kippur would walk in the I middle of the water. I can tell you about both of them. And he would unload his pockets of these rocks, showing that he's letting go of his sins. He's confessing them. FYI. So I might get the that's two of what's them going mixed on up. Here. You have these people who it's are possible. showing their desire to repent. But notice what Jesus does. You know, there's this already existing ceremonial washing that's within the Jewish customs. But he gives it a whole new meaning when he rose from the dead. Remember when our Lord rose from the dead. What did he say to his disciples? Go forth and make all disciples baptizing them Do I have in to the rise? name of the Do Father I and rose? the Son and the Holy Do Spirit. I, I screwed this that is something up. totally new. Do I have to rise from the He's dead or can I just lily or no maybe pansy from the dead? Just the person being sorry for their sins, but that was supposed to be a joke. <coughs> Is All now for life and in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That they are now being can't raised up. Can't super good gems. Oh, dude, I know, right? You guys got alluvial trinity. deposits. You got desert deposits. You got now can have solidarity ocean God. deposits. You got freaking bay deposits. You got life of God. good markets. Well, we typical, typically say to persons, but this is part of the typical speech that I give as part of my baptism thing when I baptize a baby. You know, when a person is baptized, they're transformed. They, they no longer relate to God uh, as we a all like transformers. to a creator. Rather, after that, they relate to God as a son or daughter to a daddy. 
That's why we baptize. You know, the prayer of we Christians, the baptized Christians, is the Lord's prayer because we're able to call God our daddy. So weird trying to listen to someone Jesus explain something lives else. within us through how? The power of like, the Holy well, Spirit. What do you mean by that? We receive the Holy Spirit through our baptism, and then that strengthened through another outpouring of the Holy Spirit through our confirmation. We're all on this journey of faith. I love that one line in the Hail Holy Queen, we the poor banished of Eve, who make our way through this valley of tears. You know, we're all going through this valley of tears we go alive. We all have our struggles. We all fall short. But this is the good news that I want to proclaim to you today. That Jesus, God, he wants to walk with us on this journey of faith. He has pitched his tent. And if we're open to the grace of the Holy Spirit that we pitch to ten, <laughs> get it? We, despite being the fallen children of Eve, will be raised <laughs> Too up funny. to be daughters and sons of God. We'll be able to call God our daddy, and Jesus will be not only our Lord, but the big brother who takes us by the hand and goes with us, accompanies us every. Every step of the journey we call life. Okay, we're getting close. Remember, we got the bulletin done, so now we're just doing the schedule, and then we got the prayer request list. When I was in Washington State, I wanted to go to this island near the Orcas Islands that supposedly had fire on I forget the name place I was at. Okay, gotcha. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to And the Lord be with you, Gromies. Jesus and his disciples went into the region of Judea. The Creator be with all of you. John was also the force, the creative force. Because there was an abundance of maker. People came to be baptized. Oh, hey, Gromies, interesting. I, or at least to me. Um, last week, I think it was, maybe another week, Father Harris was talking about the Word God. And the Word God is Greek. And of course, there's been a lot of orations to refer to, you know, the unmoved mover, whatever you want to call them. them. Apostrophe, um, M, uh, they, he, she, she they, it, whatever, however. Um, but the you point is, the word God, capital G O D, is Greek, and it means that with which you pray to. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The that man with which you pray to. For him, thought that was interesting. At the bridegroom's voice. So this joy of mine has been made complete. He must increase. I must decrease. Mm -hmm. The gospel. Do, 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 boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I would like to continue do, do, do. on a theme that I preached about last Sunday, in particular do, 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 my homily do, 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 that I gave do, do, do. at the 8 a.m. Sunday hey, mass right. in Mary's. Let's move it on over. At that mass, in terms on over. of epiphany, I highlighted Let's do Mary's now. role in the epiphanal events. In the gospel story about the coming of the Magi, twelve, we seven, see that it is got it. the Blessed Virgin who yep. is presenting 12, the seven, Christ child right there. to the world. Yahweh yes. and Jehovah, and exactly. You are one hundred percent informed, man. One hundred percent. Disciple of the Lord. <coughs> We're all meant to present the Christ child in the world. I was talking to somebody earlier who was like, I, I love science, I love reality. And I was like, well, 
Science actually proves that the Big Bang theory doesn't doesn't work because the Big Bang theory doesn't adhere to conservation of energy and uh, uh, the laws of motion. Um, whereas the uh, the unmoved mover does, and then they started talking about well, science isn't always right. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of funny, but, you know, it's all part of conversing and growing and learning and, you know, spelled it wrong. <laughs> Throw good. Oh, hey. There you go. I like that name. In today's gospel, we hear about St. John the Baptist and in the name of, in the name of Thorogood, and the Son, his bride, the church, and the, the Holy, where will Holy Ghost. Wedding occur? Amen. Upon the altar of the cross. He makes it clear that he is really the best uh, man who is assisting okay, so that's two out of three. in his task. And obviously, but even the though the highlighting there. Okay, there we go. role in terms of the infancy of Jesus, we, we know that Mary's the role list. of presenting Christ Blank. is not limited to his childhood. Mary will present the grown Christ child at the wedding feast of Cana, no. where you will turn water into wine. Hey, and ultimately, at yes. that wedding banquet, it will begin where? At the foot of the oh, cross. Wait a minute. And so there we go. It makes perfect sense that you would see Mary there we go. at the cross. You could almost say that from hey, her nobody place died. Cross, she is and we got the breakfast for babies coming up. Dang. Grown. That's awesome. I mean, it does not but suck. Let's face it. Dishes, dishes, when we think of dishes. Mary I mean, it's great. It's great. Christ, we're raising lots of money. When it comes to art, dishes, to dishes, dishes, devotions. dishes, dishes. Gromies, we usually get like 130 plates that come through child. for breakfast for babies. 130 sets of dishes to do, plus the cookware. <laughs> I'm still unknowing in whom is creator or God or if there is one and all that jazz. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's, he did say wine. Dude, Gromies, priests drink, man. It's, you know, well, Monday's their day off. That's the weekend. Yeah, priest party. Sunday night is the, it's like Saturday night. Are we offline? They would do that. Christ child will be sitting on her lap. That she becomes um, literally the throne of the Christ King. Yeah, well, uh, I would like to think that's kind of the problem with like that, like the, the devotion. Well, to the anything Jesus, that is, and the child somebody's going to try and make money off of it, with, you know. With so I mean, you'll you'll find anything dotted with Mary problems, and you know, the, there will be like to the child Jesus. like people who are like. And making fake churches and, about you know, just trying to get money and that kind of stuff, but that's what I like about the Catholic Church is a lot of that stuff's under check. And, and of course, it's infrastructure, it's large, it's global, it's not perfect by any means. And there's rats and holes and mold and all that kind of stuff, but at least they keep check on that kind of stuff. It's not like the Pope drives around in a private, well, I guess he does have his Pope mobile, but, you know, it's not like he's... Like, uh, like that one guy that was, he was, uh, found to have, like, a um, big thing. Fact, he had, like, a couple of speedboats and some jet skis and a yacht a and a private, like, house out in the mountains Christ and stuff, and he was supposed to be preaching about, you know, living Catholic. poor and that kind of stuff, and, and he took Saint a lot of, of donations from people, and so, like, you know, like, Many I don't know about everybody else's church, but my priest, we, we make sure he lives comfortable. And, you know, like, like he got a car donated to him. He didn't go out and buy a new car, but it's not like he's driving around in a Rolls. So, you know, my mom's a super Catholic. Yeah, and Gromies, it's, that's the weird thing is, like, how do you, how do you like... You know, it's because, like, the creator is supposed to be in, in different definitions. Like, okay, in, in the way one, the creator is the unmoved mover. Because according to the, the laws of motion and the conservation laws of conservation of energy, everything is set in motion by something else, which suggests an infinite precursor of motions. 
and you, you can't have that according to science so the unmoved mover is the originator now whether that force is or is you know intelligent or just a force is defined by the, by the second way of the five ways in, in that there there is the way by organization and the fact that that um, things just randomly exist they don't organize themselves there has to be a consciousness to organize things so that which organizes or, or arranged the, the laws of, of physics into organized laws designed the function of the universe and that, that, that had to require an intelligent consciousness, a forethought. Now, as far as, you know, how much you tithe and uh, how you treat your neighbors and all that, you know, that's all, that's all a different topic, right, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, the unmoved mover, yeah, well, it's an easy way to go about it, I just, hoo-ha, I hate groomies, I like the real good man, we'll just go that way, <laughs> you're awesome, dude, cheers. So she's wondering, well, where's the mother, and she didn't want to frighten the child, so well, hello there. You know, uh, so she thought, well, let's take a look around. Maybe the mother is here visiting. So she said to the boy, would you like a little tour okay, so, of the place? Okay, so, like I said, I could copy well, pasta, so but I always like to do it, because, you know, just on the off chance that praying for these people helps, we don't want to screw it up, right? Maybe, uh, right, the so. Who might do that. And they're talking, here goes. And then it finally dawned on St. Teresa to ask this question. She said to the child, says, well, my name is Satan, not Satan, sorry, Sister Teresa hmm. of Jesus. My name is Teresa of Jesus. What's your name, little boy? And with that, the little boy Only said, one Lou. I'm Jesus of Teresa. And with that, he disappeared. Little did she know that she was giving a tour to the Christ child. After that experience, wherever she went, she carried a little wow. statue of okay. Christ child wherever she went. Now, of course, that's in the 1500s. Something more great. contemporary. It's great when people are removed. We have something that it means they're doing okay as long as they didn't die. And Judy right, which I guess is, you know, with that. It's, an it's good for them, but bad for us. That does things for bad for their family. Care for children. They often try to have, like, baby clothes donated, and they give this to the various, like, a pregnancy resource or the Women's Choice Center. And every year they kind of organize a, a pennies for life uh, drive. That's one of the things that the Christ Child Society does. The Christ Child Society actually started, hey, Elliot. started okay. by, if I remember right, a lady named Mary Virginia Merrick in 1887. It started in Virginia, I think. And now it's a worldwide organization. And we have a chapter here in the Rock Island Vicariate. Our Lady must have known Lost my that place. devotion to the infant Jesus would bring about great comfort and help to people. I just mentioned just a few of the people who had a devotion to the Christ child and experienced miracles, but I think the most famous oh, okay, it's misspelled. Yeah. devotional we got item, Fouts, the Fouts Fricks, and Two Foxes, is something that's called the and then after Christ. that, Gallagher. And I have such a statue here. Supposedly, a parent okay. that honors Don't the, knock the thing over. will be showered with material blessing. Now, here's the story about the infant of Prague. The infant of Prague is a 16th century wax coated wooden statue Food. of I the child. I drink alone, I prefer to be by <laughs> Jether. With a cross <laughs> oh, grow me. Hey, that's funny, man. That's freaking funny. A victory in Prague. Hey, here's here's my theory. God hides because his awesomeness inspires jealousy. <laughs> uh, I thought that was funny. Funny if not true. Or tr true if not funny, or however that goes. Great. I'm not up on my check, you know, my Bohemian language. But the image is routinely clothed by the Carmelite nuns in luxurious fabrics with imperial regalia and a golden crown, while his left hand holds the globe, and 
his right hand is raised in a gesture of blessing. And in Prague, this, there's a deep devotion to the infant. Especially they have a special devotion now during the Christmas season towards the infant, but also on the first Sunday of May. Now the story goes is that the princess deno- donated this statue to the Discalced Carmelite Friars because A, she knew it belonged to St. Teresa of Abba at one time, but also she knew that the friars were hard up for money. Upon presenting it, this pious princess then said, is said to have uttered a prophetic statement to these friars. She said, Venerable fathers, I bring you my dearest possession. Honor this image and you shall never want. So with that, the statue was placed in the oratory of the monastery where special devotions to divine infants were offered twice a day. The Carmelite novices professed their vow of poverty in the presence of divine infants. Why? Because Jesus became poor for us. He is the all-powerful God, and yet he impoverished himself and became a little baby. So we, children of Satan, the spawn of Satan, might be raised up to be the children of God. And lo and behold, because they honored the divine infant, a miracle occurred. The money came in just at the nick of time. Upon hearing of the Carmelites' devotions and needs, Emperor Ferdinand II sent a ton of okay, money. Okay, now we just gotta check the bold. And a monthly so you get the email with the new prayer. So okay, so I actually do get the email, but a lot of these prayer requests don't really come by email. Now, as you can see, Usually we get one like once every other month, so about six a year on the email. Feel free to enter one if you I want. We can put some money on the list. Here, uh, most of the prayer request list is local, uh, and it happens by phone. Yeah, Gromies, dude. Old school, forgot. man, I right? Really yeah, pre-internet, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I'm anyway, this comes to someone who makes the bulletin, and then the person who makes the bulletin forwards the bulletin to me, and then I put it on the website, and uh, you and I are probably the only people who are going to see it, but actually, come to think, we get all those uh, prayer requests, so obviously it's popular. For this mass, for you, happy few who came this morning, I thought, let's bring it out, because supposedly the Chicago March for Life is happening, you know, but what I was thinking about Gromies is uh, some something. I was trying to remember a saying that uh, that I used to have because it was a good way I found to sum up. Like like somebody so said that, that re- and I notice a lot of people confuse like church and religion and faith the topics from each other like they'll have a problem with one and then say that the whole thing is just shabam but that yeah, i mean that's completely you know non sequitur but my my point is like uh, somebody said something about uh, I'm trying to think of how that went somebody was like i thought you know what this so represents how we treat children in religion is disposable our children outdated and it starts with the fact that ways we don't have any problem in or our something culture, but then I, I, uh, killing the like I was like child in the womb. but obviously it's a it doesn't it doesn't stop oh, I'm gonna think of it Gromies. I'll think of it no, sometime but it, it's like it's actually more about pragmatism world, which is like time tested time tested methods so with uh, deep rooted benefits something like that I don't know oh, we'll come back to that does the website see a lot of and yeah, surprisingly. I mean, I used to have uh, Google Analytics, and we got about 50 to 100 tra- visitors a week, but um, I don't know if that's true, because a lot of people use it on their app or, or on their phone or something, and a lot of people talk about the bulletin. And, uh, yeah, like, like if something's not right, somebody will be like, hey, and I'll get an email. <laughs> so I try to keep up with it. Okay, how many bo- how many bolts do we have? Dale, From what I understand, I guess that Shannon, Julie, Donnie, Jim, Helen. Done. 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 Okay, let's, uh, real quick, let's go through the, uh, 
always talking about the announcements. We had a few, I'll tell, you, tell this to you. I had a meeting yesterday with representatives from the Pregnancy Resource Center. And as you know, we have two centers here to reach out to at-risk women. Oh yeah, and their 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 CEOs don't have a lot and of money either. They they like and, you know, I just, for the for the record, I, I these are good charities, local, local charities. Let's see, where were we? I want to promote. Now, announcements. I'm not saying you guys, but if you're interested, if any of you want to take baby Jesus home and glue him back together properly. <laughs> Welcome to take him home because I don't know how much I can really show him here. But if we fix him, maybe what we could do is at least pull baby Jesus out for January to remind us of the dignity of human life. That the child needs to be protected, especially oh, the child. Okay, so we'll do that one later. Alleluia. I think we already did this one. Yeah. Yeah, we already attached. <coughs> we already did that one. It's right here. El Dunmotra. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom. And cured oh, he's going to go to church because I like the people. <laughs> he said people and I said people. The Lord be with you. Well, the Lord be with you, Romans. Hey, you know, I, like, I was trying to think about church. How can we spruce it up? Because it is a live show. Leprosy. Yeah, you know, live music. And when he saw Jesus, the stage, he fell prostrate, you know. pleaded with him and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand. Chromies. Look at this. Yeah, I missed it. By a week. Touched him and said, I do will it. By one week. Be made clean. Leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest. And offer your Probably a good thing, and it slowed me down. Time. That will be proof for them. The report about well, I could have marched in it. That would have been fun. <laughs> and gone back later. Cured of their ailments, but he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to the words of it's Jesus. Jesus. Did you have a good Christmas? Uh, or how see, was there, you, okay, so this celebrate. will be an announcement thinger. And the typical response we give. Or and we can whip that out, man. That way the church we website will be this. done. It was fine. Watch how quick we can whip this out. We can do this. Actually. We can do this together. You're alive. Oh, dude, dude. They always try to I'm going to show you this. Before we whip that out, I'm going to show you this, because this is freaking funny, Motron. Okay, how do I find it? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, we can do this. It's, uh... I work on New Year's Day. We have special times of prayer. And, but I didn't want to get into Oh, I know, okay. What did I say? Yep. It was fine. And then we go... And... For many people, even though it wasn't Okay, let's um maybe they let's sign in. Horrible Christmas Eve or a horrible Christmas New Year's Day or whatever it is, they just say fine. Yet behind those sad smiles, and between the lines of our small talk, we can see we can sense the deep hurt. Maybe we sense that there is a severe depression. Underneath the sad smile, maybe there's some unreal okay. sin, or some sort of spiritual blockage, some sort of addiction that they're struggling with. Marriages are destroyed. Yep. 
There you go, man. We got ourselves a five star. Hearts are broken by rejection. Isn't that nice of Helen, Hel Helena? Death and the loss of a loved one. We've been spared this year, but I know Father Peter has had, I think, two or three funerals during the Christmas season. Let's see that it's one? It's not unusual for people to die around Christmas time. You almost get the sense that maybe they're just hanging out for trying to find Christmas it. to be with their family and then they can go home. Let's see, post. Some have lost contact with God. There we go. Because they're struggling with sin, maybe they're just too self-absorbed. So if the truth be known, many of us, if we were honest, we'd say, well, I had a terrible Christmas. Well, it didn't really come through, but... But either they don't want to admit it, Maybe they don't want I don't to know. talk about it. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it, it or reads maybe Father Harris live they, Sunday at 8 a.m. <laughs> and, to look you know, he's, at the glass he's holding up the Eucharist, and I made, I made it a circle, it and it's, I, I just I thought, I that was, say, I thought that was thought was funny. And then in the background, it says, Jesus, I, could, I trust in you. <laughs> it's, you know, <laughs> I thought that <laughs> I made that myself, man. But... So At least for me. I now, took this, this picture too. So maybe you're sitting here saying, well, not, a lot, not a lot of views. Um, Everything went my way. If that's some of our other posts get more views. At least my experience of Christmas is 99% of it could be absolutely wonderful. Take photos. One thing, one little thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. 3.6 thousand views. Well, that one situation which is horrible. And 4 thousand. Casting a cloud. Yeah. Anyway. Over all the wonderful things. Um, that happened during Christmas. Right, we were doing the announcements. So maybe you're like me. You can be always miserable and always focused on the one horrible thing, or you can make a choice of saying, I'm going to focus on what was good. I'm going to look at it and say, the glass Yep, is let's do the announcements. Cool, we can do this fast. We can do this in a five star way. My point here is this that sometimes our common response to people about, well, how was your Christmas? is simply to say fine rather than go into all the details and actually actually share how it wasn't fine. The good news I have for you today is this. You don't have to paint on a fake smile for Jesus. He knows that your Christmas wasn't fine. He sees how he all the defects of your Christmas. Maybe and I think we all know that our Lord, he sees your sin, he sees your pain, he sees your leprosy, in whatever form Le it might take. Your, wait, what? As we enter into the holy sacrifice of the Mass, we are invi invited to bow down to the crown before the Christ child and say to him, Lord, if you will to do so, you can heal me. Some of the words they use are weird. And in the act of the Eucharistic hope Christ child. being placed on your tongue. And our Lord's Eucharistic Talk about my tongue. entering into your souls. The Lord is saying to you, I do will it. Be healed. Our Lord wills Christmas. Full meaning and the full spirit of Christmas for you. Okay, now we gotta highlight it so it's easy to read. Being Friday, <coughs> day in which we remember our Lord's passion, um, I am reminded that the credo of Christmas finds its full meaning in the cross of Calvary. Our Lord wills life. Wills That's what it is. He wills our healing. He wills this is salvation when? for us. The Lord wants to give you fullness of Christmas, no matter what has happened, and no matter how late it might be, Christmas can still happen for you, even in these last three days of the Christmas season. Oh, that's the where. Okay. Yes, I know. There. For most people, so, Christmas well, well, is the, done the reason I do it this God. way is that Certainly so that you can you read the highlights. Okay, let's just read the highlights and see if it makes sense, Gromies. This is, this is what I love to test. Okay, you come in. There's a lot to digest. You only got a few seconds. January, volunteer and clean the church. 
You know exactly what this is talking about, right? You want more information, you can read the rest, but now you know the gist. Then to be fixated on Let's uh, kind of a give it a border. Something clean. Christmas. But despite the fact that for most people Something Christmas important. is done over with, despite the church telling us that Christmas doesn't end until this Sunday, January 12th, that's all secondary to there. the state of our hearts. If the truth be known, most Catholics have yet to enter into the true and spiritual advent, let alone enter into the mystery of Christmas. Again, I would remind you, the word advent means to come, to enter into. Done. Be now let's go ahead and upload it. The mystery of advent is the ongoing mystery of Christ coming to us and being present to us, and the desiring to pitch his tent on the field of our hearts. I'll show you some of the other ones so you can see Something what I'm talking about. Tried to remind us in his so, let's check some of the other ones that I've made. Ongoing Advent, the presence of Christ, the porch is in the um, Holy Eucharist that we see. encounter every time we gather for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I made this one. So we need to heed I should have I should have highlighted our contest, but that that's right at the top. To be baptized into um, repentance, to immerse ourselves in the spirit of Epiphany. Gives us a new yeah, this one. Straightening St. John's vestibule. And Mass bags moved the into the cry room are now 100% Catholic bags. Next to the confessional, Christmas. white noise machine has been installed. Organizing St. John's Church no. vestibule. Lost and found Alleluia. bins. Pew in the vestibule. Alleluia. Various schedules. Side of the library Alleluia. bookshelves. This one, look at how wordy this one is. Youth, this one, okay. In the next couple weeks, talent pledge. St. John's Church, October. Create artfully beautiful gift tags. Youth rally, March 14th. Youth group email list, etc. Adult who would be willing to assist, please email. Contact the e -Rich. If you're online, contact the e-rectory. <laughs> oh man, that's too, that's too, that's, that's, dude, that is the joke of the night, man. Okay, let's, let's uh, do this announcement. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, at this while. he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. And he said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. On this upcoming Sunday, which is the last day of the Christmas season, our true love, who, who comes to us, our Lord Jesus Christ, will give us a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit, the true Christmas Spirit. Okay, that's that. On this that. upcoming Sunday, we will celebrate the baptism of our, of our Lord, when the Spirit descended on Jesus. Done. Fulfillment these of are one for the app. These are for the uh, info, which I need Christmas, to do, and we'll get to later. Be given a renewal of our but I'm a little more awake. Um, I'm having like low lagging, 
so before we try to game, I'm gonna go reset the router, which means I gotta shut everything down, but then I'll start it back up. So, um, I'll see you on the next round, and, uh, I'll try to be up in, like, five minutes. Uh, let's say about five. Cheers.